What's going on everyone? David here with another review video for you and today I'm going to be reviewing the Urban Ears Zenkin headphones. Now this is part of my March series where I am trying to find a new pair of headphones and ladies and gentlemen I think I have found them. These are, of all the ones I've tried so far, my favorite by far. Let's get right into why. First of all, the build quality. Now, they're very minimalistic, as you could tell. There's no flashiness to them. Really, the only piece of metal that I've seen is, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's where the hinge is right there. That is the only piece of metal that I've seen. Internally, there might be more, but on the outside, it's not. So it's basic, matte finish. It doesn't pick up fingerprints but it's extremely durable. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna break it at all. Uh, these turn like this, and then they fold in. The ear pieces themselves have lots of cushion to them. They're very comfortable. As I mentioned before, I'm on a weekly podcast, and so I've been using these. They are so comfortable to wear, I'm okay wearing them for hours at a time. Um, I think at any point, any headphones are going to, they're going to start bothering you, especially because I wear glasses. So I end up having to take my glasses off, but any headphone is going to do that unless you wear the earbuds. But overall, these are so comfortable to wear. They're great. I know um, some of the criteria that I've shared with you guys before is I wanted to be able to wear them like this without feeling like I was wearing a neck brace. Like the beats were really, you know, really tight around me and the, the Audio Technicas were like, big bulky headphones and these they're just I could turn them like this they're so comfortable to have on um, wearing them it's great they're over the ear headphones they're not um, or sorry on the ear headphones they're not uh, over the ear so they don't like suction cup around your ear but the sound quality is so good you can still be able to you can have them on and you could still do that if you'd like so you can hear people talking and in fact when I'm on the podcast sometimes I have it like this or there's times when I'm working on stuff for the podcast and so I'm around other people and I don't want to seclude myself but I'm like video editing or something and these are perfect for that unlike the beat headphones these don't mess with the sound at all they don't add extra bass don't add extra trouble they don't um, do anything to the sound. What you hear is what the sound is. Very similar to the Audio Technicas, um, but for less money. And one of my favorite features about these headphones is down here. And you could see on the bottom of the two earpieces, there are two different jacks for the cord. You have this, the big, big jack right here that goes into, typically would go into like a, a turntable or a soundboard, something like that, something for sound editing. And then on this, you have the typical jack that you see in your computer or in your cell phone, an MP3 player, and so on. And so it has two different plugs, but only has one cord. And here's the cord right here. And the first thing you're probably gonna notice is that the two ends are very different. You have the big jack right here and you have the small one right here. It also comes partially coiled, so it's very, it's it's a DJ type of cord. The only difference is, is you have two different plugs, and here's why. If you want to listen to your phone, you want to listen to your computer, you plug the big jack into the big spot on the headphone, and this goes into your computer. You're on your way to your gig, you get to the gig, you unplug this, plug this into the soundboard, and on this end, Boom, you plug that in, plug this into the soundboard or whatever it is you're doing, and you're good to go. Very cool. Uh, the Beats mixers had two different cords, and one was more coiled and it had an adapter so you could you could have this on it. But here you don't have it, you don't have to have two cords, you don't have to have adapters, you don't have to have that. You have your headphones and you have your cord, which you're gonna have anyway because you're listening to music on your phone or your iPod or whatever it is. Um, maybe you have a Zoom, I don't know. Maybe you listen to it on your Zoom too. So it is such a cool feature and it's come in handy many times because um, when I'm on the podcast, what I'll do is I have to have an extender to get to where the headphones plug into the soundboard to record. And so what I end up doing is I end up wearing them like this and then plug this end into the extender and the other person who also needs an extender but we only have one plugs into this end right here so then what they what i hear is what they hear so we could daisy chain very cool very useful come in handy multiple times 
So that's my review for the Urban Ears Zenkin headphones. Um, like I said many times, I love these headphones. They're by far my favorite ones I have tried um, throughout my March search. And um, these are going to be the ones that I hold on to and I use on a regular basis. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried these. What do you guys think of them? Uh, have you ever tried Urban Ears before? What's your experience? I want to know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like these type of videos, then go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and give this video a like. Because then you'll be able to know when all my new videos are up. They go right to your inbox and you could just click watch and there you go. Or you could watch it later if you want. But you know when I have new videos up. I want to thank you guys for going on this big search with me. And I hope you guys were able to learn something about some headphones. And I hope I was able to help you make some buying decisions about your next pair of headphones. As always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.